Participation in today's primary election was predicted to be low. Kentucky Secretary of State Allison Lundergan Grimes expected a statewide turnout of about 20%. WIT's Matthew Rand checked in on precincts in Perry and Letcher counties and has more. It was slow going Tuesday morning at the Airport Gardens precinct in Perry County. Folks braving the rain to cast their votes. These people are pretty dedicated. They usually turn out no matter what the weather is and it's, it's been slow. Election officials say only 25 or 30 people had come through the door by 10 o'clock. The precinct's electronic voting machine didn't work at the start of the day. They got a replacement, and since then, it's been a lot of waiting. How do you pass the time when you're just sort of waiting around? Play games on my phone <laughs> and read a lot. It was a slow morning for election officials in Letcher County as well. Officials say only about 150 of the roughly 1,200 voters registered in the ISOM precinct showed up by noon. The rainy weather, I think, has caused a lot of the uh, people not to come out. Plus, the uh, Republicans have already had their caucus back in March. 78-year-old Lance Breeding wasn't particularly impressed with this year's selection of candidates, but says he would never miss the chance to vote. That's the only right I got to be and gripe and stuff. If you don't vote, you shouldn't be allowed to get out here and throw off on the ones that's in there. And the decision of voters will soon be known. Matthew Rand, WYMT Mountain News. Now, as of 2.30 this afternoon, the election fraud hotline had received 43 calls from 23 counties. You can see a county-by-county -county breakdown on WYMT.com. And to report problems, you can call 800-328-VOTE. We are expecting to receive an updated list of calls reported to the election fraud hotline around 7 o'clock.